The 46th annual Kennedy Center Honors uh, Ceremony honored many of the greats for their accomplishments in the performing arts. So we want to congratulate Queen Latifah. Yes. Queen Latifah. There she is back there. She's the first female rapper ever honored. Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees uh, was honored. And I can see some of the kids are sitting there going, what, who is Barry Gibb? Okay, for the, the kids that sing that song that y'all think is Beyonce's, it's just emotions, it's taking me. That's not, that's Beyonce got that from Barry Gibb. That's Barry Gibb. And uh, how deep is your, all of that. Um, also honored was Renee Fleming, Billy Crystal, and Dion Warwick. <laughs> Dion Warwick. Let me, let me tell you what I love about this picture with Dionne Warwick. If you look closer at Dion, you can see she wore house slippers. <laughs> she wore... This is what I love. Now, got it, it wasn't any old house slippers. They were blinged out to the max. They looked... Amazing. Now, uh, Auntie Dion is 82 years old, and she chose very wisely comfort over style. You, we, you know... Because the thing about it, when you get to the level that you're getting a Kennedy Center honor, you can wear what you want. It, it, you don't care because you don't have to prove anything. But I'm looking at these shoes and I said, do we expect anything less from Dionne Warwick? <laughs> because you know Auntie Dion on her Twitter, she gives zero cares when she tweets. This is a woman who tweeted rapper Lil Yachty and she asked him, what was the thought process behind your name, Lil Yachty? How did you go from miles to that? Thanks. <laughs> okay, Auntie Dion also tweeted Olivia Rodrigo about her number one song, Good For You. Now, everybody knows the song. And she said, who is Olivia Rodrigo yelling at on her song, Good For You? I would like to know who we are angry with. <laughs> And she famously tweeted Chance the Rapper. She said, hi, Chance the Rapper. If you are very obviously a rapper, why did you put it in your stage name? I cannot stop thinking about this. And then she said, I am now Dion the Singer. Warwick is as real as they come. And I know pretty much her putting on these house shoes, she did what all the other honorees wanted to do. She wore comfortable shoes. Because the thing about when you get honored and you go to these events, you do a lot of walking. And the first thing, ladies, you notice, we put the shoes on and we like, how much walking I got to do? Do I got to walk from the car to the... How much walking? Is it going to be long? It, and so it is not fun, no stiletto. So I understand and I'm all for it, auntie. And I literally hope that this sets a trend. Like, when people wear pajamas out, when people wear their bonnets to the airport, please get rid of the stilettos and let us wear our house slippers to the event. I'm hoping, 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 hoping this catch on. Look, Willie Sinclair III is like, no, no, we're not hoping that at all, because he, he, he liked the stilettos. You stay in the stilettos, but Dion gave new meaning to her song, Walk On By. I'm telling you. <laughs> she walked right on by. So congratulations to all the honorees and especially on T.D. Warwick. We congratulate you. <laughs>